Hello, and welcome to this short tutorial video on backing up Wonderware System Platform components. Prior to any upgrade or migration, it's always a good idea to back up the components of the system of the System Platform Galaxy. Those components are the Galaxy repository, the historian, and the information server. Wonderware provides you with a suite of tools to accomplish this task. This video will instruct you in the use of those tools. With that, let's begin. In this video, we'll be backing up systems that are part of our virtual environment. This virtual environment is composed of an ESXi, a VMware ESXi hypervisor. Let's open up our historian. All right, we've opened up our console into our virtual machine. This is our historian. We'll begin by first verifying that the historian is functioning as we expect. We'll go do we'll do this by going to start programs wonderware locate the system management console this will bring up the interface as it brings up the interface let's take a look at our historian server on the left and we'll select status and then on the right we'll look for any significant errors or warnings and under the module section we'll make sure that we see all greens take a look at data acquisition to make sure we are receiving data the idea here is to just get some type of indication of the system status and right now we can say that we could move forward with a backup because our historian is functioning properly so we can exit out of the systems management console and then we could begin uh, the process of backing up the database we do that by going to start all programs and we need to locate our version of SQL Server. In this case, it's Microsoft SQL Server 2008. And we need to take a look and find SQL Server Management Studio. Now, the location will depend on what version of SQL Server you're running. Clicking on it brings up the interface. We'll go ahead and connect to the server. Once we've connected to the server, We'll scroll, scroll through the databases, locate the runtime database, that is the historian database. We will right click on it, come now to tasks, and locate the backup option. Select backup, that will bring up the GUI interface. We ensure that we are selecting the right database we verify that it is indeed runtime the backup type that we want is full now we come down to destination I'm gonna remove this destination I'm gonna add it again to show you how so we have a blank uh, uh, field select add we will ask you where on the disk destination on disk and then we'll click we'll click the uh, this ellipses button navigate to our backup directory in this case it's called backups and we're going to give it an appropriate file name we'll say runtime usually a good idea to name it uh, after the database itself and I'm going to put a date and then I'm going to put a dot BAK for backup now we click on OK verify that this is where we want it to go click OK again it shows up in our list and now at this point we just simply say OK the backup should go really quick we'll get an indication that says our backup completed successfully we click on OK and we're done backing up the historian database now as a best practice I'm going to also export the database configuration to a text file
Now there is a utility that Wonderware provides. It's called the Historian Database Export and Import Utility. We find that utility by going to Start, All Programs, Wonderware, navigate to Historian, and locate it. It's called Database Configuration Export and Import Utility. By clicking on the uh, utility, it'll bring up the GUI. We ensure that we select the export from historian to a text file uh, radio button. We click on next. We look at uh, the configuration here to make sure that it is indeed we are backing up the historian server that we want. And also come down to the destination or the text file section here. Verify that this is indeed the location you want the text file to go to and also name it appropriately and we also want to export all objects once we verified what we want we click on next and we click on next again and that begins the export process which will go really quick it'll just give you a synopsis of what took place you backed up the historian server this is where it went and this is the log file if there was any errors in this particular screen it'll show you exactly what was backed up or exported and down here you'll see that the export succeeded and then we can click on finish and that completes the process of backing up the historian server